Hi guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'm really excited about today's video. We're gonna do a clean and decorate with me. I really wanted to sort of take my time and go room by room through the main living today and just tidy up whatever is necessary, wipe down some surfaces, more than anything, get everything feeling clean and cozy so that I can play with some decor and have fun changing some things up. I'm gonna start here in the kitchen. As you can see, I am wiping down the countertops. This is a daily task for me, usually two or three times a day once I make the kids breakfast and put the dishes away. I pretty much always wipe down the counters. There are fewer things in life that make me happier than a clean kitchen and being able to go outside and cut some flowers. These are incredible hydrangeas and they are in full glory right now. They're continuing to bloom at these massive blooms. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a few and make a quick arrangement for here in the kitchen. I love having fresh cut flowers in the kitchen. It just makes me super happy. If you're new here or today happens to be the first time that you're stopping by, I just wanted to say that I'm so glad that you're here today. Or even if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for watching. It truly means the world to me that you guys can come along and hang out with me in the day to day, whether you are watching and enjoying a cup of coffee, or maybe you're cleaning and doing housework with me and sort of treating this like a podcast. Either way, I'm so glad that you're here. And if you are new, be sure to hit that little red subscribe button before you leave today. It is completely free. It's just going to let you know whenever I upload a new video. Before we go any farther today, I wanted to kindly thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to choose from. If you want to work on your personal growth, or maybe there's a specific skill that you would like to learn this year, then I definitely recommend Skillshare. You can find classes on things like interior design, gardening, leadership and management skills, sewing, crafts, um, photography, you name it, and Skillshare probably has it. Personally, I am always trying to work on self growth and just becoming a more productive, efficient person in the home with work. And I took a class called Mastering Productivity by Thomas Frank, and it was phenomenal. We talked about topics like managing to do lists, setting up calendars, organizing your digital and physical files. That was a huge one for me. Getting better with organizing email and so much more. I truly benefited from the class. I think it's just a really fun and convenient way to learn from home. I wanted to let you guys know that the first 1,000 people that sign up using the link in my description today will get a one month free trial to Skillshare so you can begin your learning journey today. And thanks again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now I'm gonna give my living room a quick vacuum because I bought a new rug for this space. Now I'm gonna talk about it in full detail at the end of this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire room and we're gonna do a little living room update. But for now, just know I got a new rug, I got it at Lowe's the other day and I'm super excited about it. I love the color and the pattern, it adds so much texture to this space and it's just a beautiful addition. It really grounds and anchors the space.
I added this sweet little duck decoy to my coffee table and I'm gonna rearrange a little bit. This wicker tray came from Target and the candle holder is from Hobby Lobby. I love that gold accent, but I'm just sort of playing around creating a vignette. Um, I don't even really light the candle here on the coffee table. It's more just for show. And now here on top of the piano, I'm not gonna change anything because I have just been loving keeping it really simple and no fuss. Um, I have a decorative crock, you guys have seen it if you've been around my channel. And I'm just gonna fill it with more of those snowball viburnum stems that I have just been loving since the spring. I found mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got get them on sale, get them when they're half off, and just stock up on a ton of them. <laughs> they're the easiest way to decorate for summer. They look so real, and you can just scatter them throughout your home in vases or crocs or baskets and they just add such a pop of color and life to the space they're so beautiful and then on the other side of the piano since my kids are home a lot during the summer I don't light as many candles and I wanted to plug in my Scentsy not only is it beautiful and adds ambient lighting but of course it smells good too I'm adding the vanilla and cookie crunch from Walmart 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 <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk but um, they're from Walmart they're better homes and gardens and it's just such a cozy warm scent If I've learned anything while living in our home here in Ohio, it is truly that progress is better than perfection. It's not always easy to decorate a space. Sometimes you have to live in it, sit in it for months or even years to figure out what your own unique style is, but also what the style of the house is. I made a switch here in the living room. I'm gonna talk about it towards the end of the video, but um, the Ikea cabinet ended up not working out in this space like I thought it would. It is beautiful, but I'm going to move it to another space in the house. And I just needed something vintage and old world and warm and cozy. And I found this cabinet on Facebook Marketplace for $75 and it just spoke to me. <laughs> and I just needed to bring it home. Uh, it looks so beautiful in this space. Like I said, I'm going to talk about it more at the end of the video, but I'm just filling it with some books now and I am super happy with this decision. Whenever I'm rearranging or redecorating a space, I put everything on this dining table and I promise it gets better. <laughs> Once I use all of these items, I'm able to clear off the table and get it clean again. But for now, it's working really well as a workstation. I'm adding a few more of those stems to this vintage laundry basket. I found it in an antique shop last winter, I believe. I have two of them now. I have one on the cabinet uh, on our TV cabinet in the family room and now I'm adding this other one to the top of the cabinet you just saw and it adds so much height and just a pop of color it is so beautiful I just really love the relaxed feel of florals in a basket not changing much in here I'm just adding these new pillows to the couch I got them on green tag clearance at Kirkland's the other day and I just thought they were pretty.
I'm gonna finish up here just by vacuuming a few uh, little Maggie balls. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it on camera, but there are little tiny white fluff balls all over the corners of our house, courtesy of our lovely golden retriever. But um, it feels so good to have the house put together and clean. It does not always look like this. I can promise you nine times out of 10, there are toys everywhere, dishes in the sink. Um, or a mess somewhere in the house. But for those few moments where I have some peace and quiet, I can light my favorite candle and, or I guess today, put on my favorite wax warmer. <laughs> I didn't light a candle, but you know what I mean. I can do something for myself, care for my home, maybe add a new piece of decor. It is self-care for me. It really, truly is. It always puts me in a better mood, which then in turn makes me a better mom and wife. So I encourage you to do that. If you're feeling unmotivated or like you're in a rut, do some self-care. Buy yourself a small treat for the house and just get excited again to care for your home. Okay friends, I just finished sort of cleaning up, decorating a few areas, and I wanted to sh take you around and show you sort of an updated living room tour. And <laughs> so I just did that video and already made some huge changes in here. Um, I just wanna say thank you so much to every single person who reached out to me after I did the home tour and talked about the ink stain <laughs> that I got in my old rug. Um, I tried all of your suggestions. I really truly did and it just wouldn't come out. Uh, but I think it was meant to be <laughs> so many of you uh, jokingly, lovingly said, I think Maggie stained your rug on purpose because you need a new rug in there. It's not the right size and it was solid cream. I just had way too many neutrals in here. I love neutrals but sometimes too many. You need a little pattern, a little contrast and texture. So um, all of that to say, I got a new rug and I'm really excited about it. Let me turn you around and show you guys. Okay, so here's the rug. First of all, it's an eight by 10, which I think fits the room perfectly. Any bigger and it would go under the piano and under the couch. And then you wouldn't, um, I don't think that would be very appealing to the eye. So I really like that it sort of breaks up. You can still see some of the floor there, um, but it's still plenty big. And it really does ground and anchor this space so well. For like a week and a half, <laughs> I didn't have a rug in here and it felt like the furniture was floating around in space. Um, but this rug is from Lowe's of all places. I found it in store and I thought it was so beautiful and super um, affordable for the size. It's an indoor outdoor, so you can use a hose to clean it. Um, and just in case <laughs> Maggie has any other hiccups, um, hopefully this one works out great. The other thing I love about it is that it still has all of those neutral colors, the creams, the beiges, the sort of grayish blue colors in here that are really cooling to the eye that I love but it just gives some pattern. Uh, I felt like my room was lacking pattern and texture before, and I either wanted to add it back in with a rug or pillows. 
and I opted for the rug. So I really love that. And then most of the decor was in here before. I just kind of changed things up. Um, you guys know I love these Viburnum, they're faux Viburnum um, snowball stems. And I think the chartreuse green color is really pretty for summertime. I've got them all over in here. And I really love sort of that collected, gathered feel. I like keeping all the flowers the same throughout. I think that's a really pretty way to implement sort of that cottage look. Um, so I just have those in a couple of different crocs. I've got a four gallon, um, more of a decorative croc. There's a minnow bucket over there. Um, what else? The duck <laughs> decoy was in here before. I just moved it to the coffee table along with this little candle holder. Um, and then, oh yeah, this is not new, but I did put my Scentsy in here on the piano. With the kids being home more, I'm not burning as many candles. And I thought this would just be a cozy touch here in the living room. I have... I think it's called warm cookie crunch warm vanilla cookie crunch i don't know something like that in here now and it's starting to smell so good i love warm cozy scents even in the summertime and then this picture is new i found it on sale at hobby lobby and i thought this size was great for this space but what i love most about it was that it was neutral and beautiful i love the floral detail but i liked that stark black because i think it really pairs well with my hutch uh, it sort of brings some black into here and i don't know it gives it kind of a cohesive feel i guess <laughs> um let's see what else that little basket i got on sale at hobby lobby as well i liked how narrow it is um, for a doorway that way it's not kind of bulky <laughs> when you're going in and out really didn't change much in here um, I just added those pillows I showed you guys earlier they are from Kirkland's and I got them on a green tag final clearance deal I think I got them both for 25 um, which Kirkland's I think they're originally I still have the tag $34.99. So to get both for $25, I thought that was a pretty good deal. I sort of like that neutral but pattern look. I still need to hang that mirror. I need to have Caleb hang it here. You know how that goes. Sometimes things can sit around for weeks or months and you kind of just forget about them. Um, but hopefully we do that soon. Now that we've talked about some of the smaller changes in here I've made and the rug. Love it let's talk about this beauty over here so this is an antique cabinet that my sweet friend and neighbor found on facebook marketplace and she sent it to me and i immediately told her i need this this is beautiful and it has so much more character and so much more depth and warmth than the ikea cabinet that i had here and it was only 75 dollars on marketplace so I just couldn't pass it up. It was 10 minutes down the road for me. I felt like it was meant to be. Um, it is pretty red compared to my dining table. I may refinish it, but for now, I just kind of wanted to bring it in here and enjoy it and get a feel for it. Um, by refinish it, I just mean kind of sand it down to its raw look. I'm definitely keeping the wood tone. I think it adds, again, so much warmth. And I love the tone with some of the blues I have going on in here. I think it's so pretty. And then inside, I do have the glass. I just popped the glass out for filming so you guys could see um, well without a glare. Um, but I just paired it with a bunch of books that I got from Goodwill. I think it looks so pretty in sort of a mass grouping. Um, it keeps it from getting cluttered. I think it just looks really cool. And then the cherry on top, I've got this, sorry, focus, vintage laundry basket with more of those flowers and it adds just some height and a pop of color up there. And I'm loving some of the changes.
All right, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was sort of a hodgepodge of things, but as I pick up new decor, I love to share it with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the new living room updates as well. If today happens to be the first time that you're stopping by my channel, I just wanted to say welcome, and I'm so glad that you're here. Be sure to hit that little red subscribe button before you leave today, and I will see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye.